Well, go on, popcorn. Yo, I'm so gassed. Psst, you. <laughs> so silly, but guess what came in the mail a couple of days ago? Ooh. Hi guys, today I'm gonna be sharing my thoughts on the latest launch by Kayali. Vanilla cocoa. Let's start that again. Utopia Vanilla Cocoa 28. I have been really struggling to say that. I've been practicing off camera and I still can't get it right. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I haven't tried many fragrances from Kayali. I own a small bottle of Vanilla 28, which is a really light vanilla fragrance. A little bit too light for me personally, but I enjoy using it for layering. But when I saw the notes of this, this is proper reflecting. When I saw the notes of this, I had to enter my credit card details into that website straight away because not only am I a girl that is looking to do hot girl summer, I'm obsessed with anything vanilla, tropical, vacation. That's just my vibe at the moment, you know? This is also meant to be extract to puff on concentration. But I hope that the longevity would be a bit more beefy in comparison to Vanilla 28. So I got my laptop here and I'm gonna read you guys out the notes just so you can get a perspective on how this fragrance smells before I break it, break it down about how it smells in my opinion, all right? I like to yours. So the top notes of the fragrance according to Huda Beauty's website is honeysuckle, pear blossom, Italian lemon and coconut. The middle notes are jasmine, gardenia, tuberose and ambrette. And in the base they decided to chuck a little bit of sandalwood, patchouli heart, vanilla, bourbon and musk. Okay, hold on, Lauren, we've had the notes, but does this fragrance bang though? Oi, you so when you first spray this tropical experience, oh honey, you are gonna get the pear and the honeysuckle. And both of those notes are just creating this like light, airy sweetness to the fragrance, which smells very, very tropical and hot girl summer vibes. But then as the fragrance starts to settle down, you're gonna get those white florals like the jasmine and the gardenia, which adds a very delicate touch to this fragrance. And Let's not forget that this has got coconut in this and the coconut is very prominent in this. The coconut to me is more of a coconut water, something that's quite fresh rather than kind of waxy, actual fruity coconut. You know what I mean by the waxy, you know, the kind of white bit. <laughs> so yeah guys, it's more of like a coconut water cocktail. It's like a sweet coconut cocktail in a bottle. I cannot stop spraying this. I've been wearing this fragrance all day and I just enjoy the opening of that fragrance, the coconut, the honeysuckle. <laughs> dry down of this is a lot more musky. So you get a little bit of sweetness in the dry down from the vanilla, but then you also get some creamy sandalwood and again, those musky touches. I'm just, I can't stop spraying it guys. Oh my God. <laughs> It's gone in my mouth. <laughs> oh guys, that does not taste like a coconut cocktail. My first impressions of Utopia Cocoa Vanilla 21. Hey, I got it right. It's such a dog twister, but my first impressions of this is Sole Banque by Tom Ford. And the fragrances don't smell similar, but they give me a similar vibe. So I feel that if you liked Sole Blanc by Tom Ford, then you'd like this. And then the white floral elements reminds me of Sintra by Mimo. Of course, it's missing that kind of marshmallow note, but I feel that if you liked Sintra by Mimo, obviously missing that petagrain note, then you'd really get along with this. In terms of occasions, wearing a thong on the beach, shaking your ass on a yacht, wear this. If you're going to be lazing around in a hammock in Bali, although where we go in, in lockdown, wear this. If your only destination is the streets this summer, wear this. Guys, this is just summer vacation in a bottle. And I mean, I know that COVID has got in between us going on holiday, but look, you can wear this and feel like you're on holiday because that is the exact mood that this fragrance has put me in. Look at this, I've got this on. I've dressed for the occasion, guys. I'm wearing yellow, I've got this on, I'm feeling sweet. Let's talk about performance because this fragrance, you must know, is is more of a moderate projector. It's not gonna be loud and in your face. And guys, I don't know whether it's just my skin, but in terms of longevity, this only lasted a few hours. After about four hours of wearing this, it is gonna become a skin scent. But bear in mind that this is a summer fragrance. Bear in mind the notes of this fragrance. This ain't gonna perform like no oud. You gotta work with what you've got. Oh my God, guys, I can't stop spraying this because this smells so good. <laughs> Monica Tan, what have you done to me? Because I am officially ready for hot girl summer with Utopia Cocoa 
vanilla 28 i'm ready if you guys are looking for tropical vacation in a bottle then i say get yourself a sample of this because i think that my ladies are going to really enjoy this one and by the way have you guys seen this bottle ah! you guys know that my favorite color is rose gold and this is almost giving me rose gold vibes so guys, let me know in the comments if you've tried this fragrance. Let me know all your opinions on it. And do you think that you're gonna buy this one? And what are your favorite Kayali fragrances? Let me know all your opinions in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe for more perfume content and leave this video a massive thumbs up as it really supports my visibility on this platform. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.